everyone, it's Erica Olson with On Strategy. Today's whiteboard video is on how to identify strategic issues. Strategic issues are those topics that come up at the beginning of any planning process. Normally when you're trying to assess your current state and you're talking to your planning team members and your stakeholders and your customers and your staff, and there are those things that kind of stick out as major themes that you know you need to solve for, fix, or decide before you go into planning the year. So they just kind of bubble up. You can't really go through an exercise and ask like, what are the strategic issues? So listen for them when you're doing your analysis of what's working well, what's not working well, what's getting in our way, where are the opportunities? And really the big one that I wanna call out is this one right here. There are some things normally in organizations that you need to make decisions on before you craft a strategy. And they will get in the way of your ability to develop a good plan if you haven't made a decision. So those are strategic issues. How do you structure them? Well, here's a light bulb moment. Structure them in the form of a question. And a lot of times with our clients, they come back with laundry lists of topics. Sure, there's lots of stuff to talk about. I want a question. Here's how you structure it. How do we, so in this case, what are the, that's pretty simple, but that gets the question started. Um, activity, process, challenge. So what are the different market growth opportunities that what? Diversify our revenue or to diversify our revenue, the outcome. So what are the different market growth opportunities that we need to look at in order to diversify our revenue? So the strategic issue that was presented is we need to diversify our revenue how are we gonna do that? So structure it in the form of the question so you can actually answer it during your process. Okay, so I would recommend that you only have a handful of strategic issues, really kind of call out the stuff that are not critical to answer as part of your process. So keep it to you know less than half a dozen. And here's how you use them. So as I said before, um, you need to answer these questions before you go into setting objectives for the year. Um, you should pull them out and do a deep dive. So that means actually carving out time during your planning process and a structure to have a conversation with data on, on, on answering those questions. Um, you might park them. You might decide, yeah, this is super important, but we can build a plan and we can work on this later. Okay, that's cool, but that's a decision too. Um, and then after you've gone through your process, come back around and at the beginning of your plan, and I always do this, I have a table at the beginning of our plans that have a handful of questions and then the answers to those questions. The questions start at the beginning of the process, the answers come at the end. So that is how you use strategic issues to help you move your planning process forward and quite frankly, to make sure that you're building a plan that includes everything you need to address for your organization. Thank you for tuning in. Hit the like button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. We drop new videos every Friday. Happy strategizing.